YouTube, let's get, get, get it. Back with another vid, YouTube. It's your boy, Big Gal. And today, we back with the Traxxas Rustler 4x4 VXL 2.0. This will be a quick unboxing. This will be my second Rustler. Uh, we're not going to make this video super duper long. Uh, I do want to talk about and show a few of the new projects that I have coming up for 2021. So we're going to do this quick unboxing, get that out of the way. We're going to talk about these new projects that I have coming up for 2021, and we're going to get out of here. But before I start showing, showing the uh, unboxing this vehicle, this is my second Rustler. Um, my first one, I had a problem with the drive shafts, and I just didn't want to update them, and I ended up getting rid of the car, which I shouldn't have did. I should have just held on to the car, because it is a pretty good car, um, I will say. A few things that it... I, at a price point you would think that it comes with that it didn't. Um, kind of question, but it is what it is. So with no further ado, let's get into this unboxing, fellas. So a video say I made it a little bit shorter. I already unboxed it. So this is what we're gonna get into. Get this box out of the way. And pile. Let's get it, baby. She is beautiful, fella. She is beautiful. We got to get some B-roll right quick so you guys can see this up close. And then Starfe, you crazy. To it as you know tqi remote 2.4 gigahertz tracks this remote pretty cool pretty good not awesome but pretty good and you got your books all the good stuff come with it a couple of preloads couple of tools couple of spacers for the batteries and last but not least you have the car so fellas let me tell y'all what i've done to this car um uh, why, the reason why I'm calling it Rustler 2.0 because the car is upgraded except for the motor in ESC basically. But even ESC has an upgrade. But as far as you know, anything else, everything else, well, a lot of a lot of the other things has has been changed, have been changed. So we're gonna get on into that. First, we start off. I have the Proline MX 2.8 um, tires from Proline. We have the metal Traxxas drive shafts. We have the metal Traxxas drive shafts. And I know y'all can't see it, but they're in there. Metal Traxxas drive shafts. And we have the Proline. This is a Proline uh, Ford Raptor uh, F-150 body for the Rustler from Proline. And we to cap it all off, we have the light kit. That is the Traxxas Rustler light kit. Uh, comes with this bar up here, this whole bar. Comes with this whole bar. Comes with the new bumper for the lights in the front, and the bar and the uh, the top, the skid plate. It has the lights in the skid plate as well. So, 
There it is. That's what attracts this rustler. So we're gonna pop this hood right quick, get up under this hood, check it out, show y'all what's what's up under here, and which is not really much, but I'm gonna show y'all this anyway. What's up under here, and then we're gonna get out of here, fellas. So let me unhook my my battery for my lights. <clears throat> Oh, and for the paint on this body, I use the uh, spastics, orange, orange, gold, purple, and red. I want to say. Y'all saw that flipping. It was. It looked. It looked more purple when the light was, was out, and then it, you know when the lights are on, it looks a little bit more gold. So <clears throat> that's that. That's that. And all I did in here was basically I had to hook up the light module for the light kit. Uh, I had to get all that hooked up. Uh, you have to hook it up through through your it tracks his lead. And I also attached a fan. The Rustler does not come with a ESC fan. So I was able to get an ESC fan. Uh, shots out to Happy Jack. Happy Jack RC sent me that ESC fan for the Traxxas. So I was able to get that on there. And that's that. All right, fellas. So I'll get that body back on in a minute. Moving on to the projects. All right. My first project I'm, I'm coming I'm, uh, coming with, I'm gonna talk about, this is the one I'm most excited about. I don't have it right in front of me right now. It's off, uh, Rattle Can Alexa has it doing the paint job on the body. But it will be my armor infraction. Uh, I'm going to, I already have a system to put in it. I have the 160 amp uh, Firma Spectrum ESC and I have the 1250 motor out of a, a Creighton. So I'll be running it on 8S. Um, I'm very excited about that project. I can't wait for it to get here. Uh, well, when Rattle get done painting the body, then I can go ahead and put the motor ESC in. And I'm also gonna run that on my, uh, cause I'm gonna do speed runs with it. I wanna try to hit at least 80 to 85 miles per hour. So I will be hooking it up to my new, to my radio link um, remote, the, the 6G. All right, moving on to the next thing I have for 2021. This is all stuff to come in 2021. This is a Losi short course truck. This is the race short course truck. I want to say this is a 2.0. This is not a 3.0. This is a 2.0. It's pretty old, but I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, and it has the 2200 um, with the RX Pro. I mean, with the R, with the XR, Hobbywing XR, Easy Run XR Plus. A race setup so that's a race setup right there i will be running 4s on it i got a big pin on there i think i might got a, a 18 or 22 pin on there so i will be running this on 4s um you don't see the body right now this body is actually at rattles rattle can alexa and getting paint too the weather has been cold here so it's hard for him to paint because it's so cold but this body will be coming soon too um the body i have for this one is the pro line 1967 Ford body, the same one that comes with that, that they made for the UDR. So I have that that one for the tip scale short course truck on here. So once he get done with that one, y'all will see videos of this. Uh, he'll he'll be you know today is the 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 last day of the year, so it'll definitely be 2021 before you see a run video of this. Whole type of all right fellas we're back and i have my second creating 8s i'm gonna walk through the things the upgrades and things that has already been done to this i know y'all seen this body before i flip swap them in and out on my other creating 8s so i was able to acquire another 8, uh, 8s creating and the goodies that i got for it got a pps motor mount so i can be able to fit this 2028 motor on here 800 kv so we got a pps motor mount we have the 2028 800 kV motor and we have the XLX2. You already know, we got the brand new XLX2. A lot of these been catching fire, but we're gonna hope and pray that mine is not one of them. I have another one in my 5T and it's doing fine. So hopefully this one will do fine as well. All right, fellas, I'm gonna get this stuff out of your way and show you what's under the hood of this Creighton. And then we're gonna get out of here. All right, fellas, we are back. The first thing, first things first, I'm gonna show you on this Creighton 8S right here. It has the X-Max bumper. 
with the light bar in it. It has the X Max bumper in the front with the light bar in it. Um, let me spin it around to the back. It already has the 8S Outcast Willy bar. Hopefully, y'all can see that. I don't let me lift it up so I'll make sure y'all can see it. it. Has the 8S Outcast Willy bar. I don't know how he did this mod with this bumper, but he made it work. I'm gonna lift it up so y'all can see it just in case you can. There it is. That's the X Max bumper right there. Uh, already has the hatchet, uh, I mean, the lock up X belted uh, tires on it. And they're in perfect condition. They're a little dirty, but they're in perfect condition. The spikes are still excellent. Uh, I changed to my golf body, so my golf body will be running on this one. I never ran this body before because I have my other one. But my golf body will be permanently on this truck. All right, on this truck, he already has the fifth scale servo set up in it. He already has the fifth scale servo set up in this in this truck. Um, so that is a definite plus. He has shop cover. The shop covers were already done on it. Um, and it's also already a PPS motor mount in it, in it as well. Um, I actually bought that other PPS motor mount because I was going to turn my uh, 8S Outcast and you know, I was going to put the 2028 in my 8S Outcast. Um, so there it is with this. Um, this is one of this is one of the later versions of the Crate 8S. Mine was the one I the original one was one of the first versions. So this one has the extra chassis braces down in the bottom, which that's awesome. Um, and that's about it, man. So these are the things that I have coming really soon in 2021. I have about two more projects that I need to finish as well. But we won't get into those yet because I don't know how, how long it's going to take me to actually finish those projects. So we won't get into that. But this is what I got immediately for 2021. Within the next few weeks, you should be able to see all these cars ready to go um, and ready to come to the channel and, and you know get their love on the channel as well. So with that said, I appreciate y'all sticking around watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dislike, whatever you like. You too, and I'm in it.